September 14, 2022 Daily Devotion There is a longing Only you can feel A raging tempest Only you can still My soul is thirsty, Lord To know you as I've known Drink from the river that flows before your throne. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I ever been before. I just want to love you more and more How I long to be deeper in love Sunrise to sunrise I will seek your face Drawn by the Spirit to the promise of your grace My heart is found in you A hope that will abide Here in your presence Forever satisfied Take me deeper Deeper in love with you Jesus hold me close in your embrace Take me deeper Deeper than I ever been before I just want to love you more and more How I long to be deeper in love Take me deeper Hold me close in your embrace Take me deeper Deeper than I ever been before I just want to love you more and more How I long to be deeper in love For our scripture reading today, please read John chapter 3 verses 1 to 18. John chapter 3 verse 3. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Being born again, what did Jesus mean when he said, I tell you the truth? No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born again. The person who Jesus was talking to was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ranking member of the Jewish council. He asks, how can someone be born when they are old? Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Nicodemus knew that re-entering the mother's womb is impossible and that physical birth is not what Jesus meant. The phrase born again literally means born from above. A person needs a change of his heart, a spiritual transformation. It means new spiritual birth. It is an act of God that when a person believes, eternal life is imparted to him. Being born again carries with it the idea of becoming children of God through trust and faith in Jesus Christ alone. In the book of John, it says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or husband's will, but 
born of God. So being born of God means that there is a spiritual rebirth as we were once dead in our sins but made alive in Christ. So why is there a need to be born again? In the book of Ephesians, it says, But because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. All of us are sinners and are spiritually dead. When we receive spiritual life through faith in Christ, the Bible likens it to a rebirth. Only those who have been born again have their sins forgiven and have a relationship with the Lord by becoming children of God. Clearly, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9 states, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one can boast. An even clearer illustration can be found in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, and the new has come. The new has come, has the idea of being born again, having a spiritual rebirth to become children of God. Reflection If you have never trusted in the Lord Jesus as your Savior, but have trusted in your own understanding or in your own views and ways of gaining salvation, will you consider the prompting of the Holy Spirit as He speaks to your heart? Coming from the words of Christ Himself, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless He is born again. It means trusting in Jesus alone, who paid the penalty of sin when He died on the cross and believing that He rose from the dead. The salvation God provides is by His grace through faith, not by our works. If you want to accept Jesus as your Savior and be born again, below is a prayer you can follow. However, prayer alone will not save us. It is only by trusting in Christ that will give us a spiritual rebirth. The prayer is simply a way to express to God your faith in Him with gratitude for providing for your salvation through His Son, Jesus Christ. Prayer Lord, today I have always thought that the way to eternal life is through my good works church attendance, etc. You have clearly said that no one can enter your kingdom unless I am born again. God, I know that I am a sinner and deserving of the punishment of eternal death. But Jesus Christ took the punishment that I deserve so that through faith in Him alone, I could be forgiven. I will be born again, a new creation. I trust in you for my salvation. So grateful for your wonderful grace, forgiveness, and the gift of eternal life. I am opening my heart, my life to you, Lord. Please come into my life and transform me to become more Christ-like in my thoughts, words, and deeds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.